Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day everyone. This is your teacher Elena and my channel Korean Study with Elena. Okay, so today guys, uh, this is my third video of the topic that I'm gonna talk to you, the 100 reasons why Filipinos and Koreans are different. Okay, either it's culture, traditions, or anything. <laughs> All right, so today guys, uh, let's talk on number 79 to 70. Yes. Yes. So hmm. <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> okay. So number 79 uh, in Korea, the car should run for at least 10 years and after that it will sell to the junk shop and they're gonna uh, recycle it. Okay, they're gonna take, uh, in recycling the car, they're gonna take out all the spare parts of the car before they're gonna flatten it and they're gonna have recycle. But in Philippines, the car can run as long as it can be used right okay 78 in korea the rice is very sticky that can hold in a can hold it right in a chopstick that's why korean people they use chopsticks in eating okay well in philippines people do not usually prefer to eat sticky rice that's why rice should be hard and not sticky that's why filipinos we eat by our hands okay well, anyways the difference is Korean rice is sticky Filipino rice it's not sticky it is uh, hard and not sticky okay okay number 77 in Korea homosexual are not accepted in society and it's very rare yeah I heard the news that um, three years or four years ago there is a surgeon that uh, he was, you know, he received a lot of, uh, you know, critics because uh, the news was titled is, I was just, uh, let's say, I just corrected the mistake of God kind of things because there are many Koreans who got uh, transgender, uh, you know, third sex in Korea or homosexual is not accepted I mean society is not accepted but that's why usually they have the transgender right but in Philippines homosexual are visible everywhere they can wear what they like I have a lot of friends especially when I was studied in College of Law yeah I love I love them <laughs> because they are very you know they're very cute I mean I like I like I like uh, you know, gays and le lesbian friends they are human beings uh, in in when i was in college i have a lot of classmates with is lesbian because i studied criminology men and lesbian i have most of my classmates when i was studying in college in law in college of law i have a lot of gays uh, friends and classmates and uh, it's really funny it's really give you a lot of fun when you have them yeah they're good friends Okay, during birthday parties, uh, weddings in Korea, visitors would give money. Even if you go to funeral, you're going to give money, right? That's uh, because their, cost, their, their tradition, their customs, like, uh, you're going you're gonna to go there, you're going to eat, okay? You're going to eat there, and you should pay, and you're going to give a donation, kind of, because, uh, if, if you attended the, the you know the wedding or any or birthday parties or death or funerals of the loved ones of your friends and the time you have also that kind of uh, celebration like a wedding or birthdays or funerals in your family they're gonna come also and give also their support in in a money form in the Philippines however giving money is not the custom Okay, people would commonly 
bring gifts that could be used in the house, especially in a wedding. Yeah, during the wedding ceremony or the birthday, we're gonna give the gift, the things that they need to use in their houses. Okay, not just not, not just not really money, but there are some during the wedding, you know, ceremonies they give money, but usually we give uh, things that they need in starting a family. Okay, all right, next number seventy-three. When Koreans marry. Or they get, when the Korean man, when they get married, when they get married, uh, the groom is expected to provide a house for the couples, while the bride will provide the appliances of the house. So they gonna, you know, they gonna have sharing. So the man, when they get married, will provide the house, and the woman or the bride will provide the furnitures. But because me, I'm a foreigner, my husband provide everything. <laughs> when we get married anyways in the philippines on the other hand the groom will provide everything in the house or everything to put inside the house and I mean, this time maybe <clears throat> there are some cases that uh, man and woman or the bride and groom they get to share each other their monies yeah to make their houses fully furnished right okay next 74 in buying cosmetics at korean shops the store will usually give many samples of their products. You're gonna try this one, and if you like, you can come back and you're gonna buy this. Like they can have a lots of freebies. Okay, in the Philippines, sample products are usually for sale, and you know, I mean, there are some maybe not, but usually even it's a you know sample. It's they're gonna sell it. The store will not give any bonus or freebies unless the customer will ask for it. Yes, unless we're gonna ask for it, the Filipinos will get the freebies. But in Korea, when you buy cosmetics, they will give you what you buy and they're gonna give you many freebies. Yeah, of what did you buy? And also, maybe, uh, not maybe, but uh, to other new products, they usually give it a sample. All right, next. Um, Number 73, it is not common practice in Korean market to ask discount or freebies in buying something. When you buy, especially in the market, I mean, they are not used to have uh, discount please. Well, they are not common. They don't like asking discount because for them, the person is doing hard work. It's hard to sell, so you don't need to like have discount. Because when you go to the supermarket, when you go to the department store, they will not, you know, they will not give you a discount either, okay? But in Philippine markets, on the other hand, it's very common for shoppers for the discount, to ask a discount or freebies from the vendors. Yeah, I mean, we love to ask, one more please, or discount please. Yeah, the Filipinos will love it, right? Okay, number 72. In most Korean restaurants, they cook the food as customer ordered. When you go in the restaurant, you get to choose their menu and then you get to uh, cook for it. For it. You're gonna cook it and give it to you. But in Philippine restaurant, most restaurants serve a pre-cooked meal or pre-cooked food. They'll really cook and when you order, you can eat it without hitting it or you can eat it by hitting on it so it depends on you but usually we have the pre-cooked food when we eat in a restaurant unless it is buffet if it is buffet yeah, they, they make like the heating pot you know, below the food but usually we will not eat uh, you know we will not eat after they cook for us all right number 71 Korean traditional houses usually have a sliding doors, while most Filipinos houses have usually pushing doors. Okay, they have their you know sling doors, sliding doors. The Korean old traditional houses, but the Filipinos we have you know push and pull doors. Number seventy, most Koreans people, most Korean, most South Korea people are they are really body conscious. You know, even they're the old, you can see they're old because. You know they maintain their body build they maintain their 
body figure, especially women. I mean, they don't like tall breastfeeding because it can, you know, can vanish their body figure. I mean, it's not good for their health. They're really concerned for their health. But, well, in Philippines, yeah, cosmetics, and they are, cosmetics in Korea is necessary for the woman. Buying cosmetics in for Philippines is not considered as this is a necessity in life. In Korea, cosmetics, yeah, they're very body conscious. Cosmetic is necessary for them. In Philippines, cosmetic is not necessary. It depends on you, you're gonna buy it or not. But especially for those who work in an office or in a department store, cosmetics for them is yeah necessary. But the common people, it's not necessary. Okay, so guys, we can have a recap. Uh, 79 to 70 uh, difference between Philippines and Korea 29 in Korea car runs at least 10 years and they cannot go to the shop and chunk it the Philippines as long as the car can run it can run okay 78 Korean rice is sticky but Filipinos are not in September 77 in Korea homosexual is not accepted in society and you cannot find them it's a rare but in philippines homosexual are visible everywhere 76 during the birthday parties or wedding in korea the visitors will give money in philippines we give things 75 uh, koreans when the man will get married the groom will provide the house and the bride will provide the furniture in philippines man will provide everything <laughs> All right, 74. In buying cosmetics at the Korean shops, they usually give a, they give samples or freebies. But in Philippines, no freebies. You can, yeah, no freebies given. 73. In is that common practice in Korea to ask discount in a market? But in Philippines, it's a common, common custom that we have. 72. The most Korean restaurants they cook food as we order when customer ordered. But in Philippines, we have a pre-cooked food. Uh, number 70, uh, 71, in Korea, the doors is sliding doors, which are the traditional door, uh, the traditional house. But in Philippines, we have push and pull doors. Number 70, most Korean people are body conscious. Cosmetics considered as necessary in their life, but in Philippines, it is not necessary. Unless you're working in the department store or you're working, it needs to have a makeup, but common people, it's not. Okay, guys, I hope that you learned from me today at least 10 uh, differences, the cultures, traditions, customs between Filipinos and Koreans. So you guys need next video. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Annyeong. Kamsamnida.